Well, we, what do we have here? Today is going to be about rolling flex. Uh, you have been watching and reading many articles about reviews of this camera, some medium format camera. Okay, but on this video, we are going to see how it works in the inside. Okay. Mm, I have here one 35B type 1. Here it is basically the skeleton, nothing else. I just mounted the focusing rails, okay, because they are quite okay. How they work here, you put the front panel on these ones, like this, and you move the rays forward and backwards, so you achieve the focus that way. Okay, here goes the knob for focusing, Ta -ta -ta -ta. and this is the first system of the camera, the focusing. Infinity focus will be the closest, this is the stop, okay? And there is a stop for the minimum focus. So the stop, it is this one and this one. Okay, how it works the focus? Hmm. When it goes forward, okay, this is two cams. The inner one pushes the rail forward. When you go backwards, this outer cam pushes this the thing here, backwards. Here, there is a spring inside that moves and you can adjust this one and this one to achieve the correct pressure for doing fine focusing backwards and forwards. Otherwise, if we don't do this thing, this is, uh, setup here, you might find that you have some gaps here and there. So the focusing should be continuous and fine without any kind of jump or gap. Okay, this thing here, it is the parallax. When you close focus, the front plate goes forward and this is moving forward. So here you will have your frame, if it's infinity, or close focus. Here goes the mirror, I will put a new one I think, over the mirror goes the finder with the screen, okay, like this, and basically, you know, this camera has two lenses, the lower one is the one taking the photo, okay, here's the film, the upper one, the image goes this way, reflects on the mirror, goes on the screen, and you see everything from above. Left is right, because you have a mirror here. And let's start with the camera, okay? I will explain this thing later. Also, it is the work together. The first thing here, it is this. This is the light trap, okay? It goes in this tube, in the retaining ring of the shutter, and it helps to not allow in the light from the outside, going inside the field chamber, okay? It is here. Now this, we will talk a later about this. It is for allowing the camera only to shoot at certain position of the crank that you will have here finally, okay? Just remember this one does this movement. It is connected with this tab, with this, and inside it does like this. Tick tack, tick tack. Okay, good. Okay, now the front plate. This plate, I think, is quite... I should have taken the, the focus forward. Otherwise, I don't have a space. Taking the focus forward, 
without a knob, it is not very easy. Okay, still I need to put the seams. Yeah, I don't have enough because I forgot to put the seams inside. Yeah. No seams spacers. Okay, I have to do one extra spacer here, otherwise it was, <coughs> all right, that thing always falls down, falls down. And this one I made myself because I had, I need a bit more space. On this window. Yeah. Okay, now we have the focus out. I can put this inside without any trouble. As you see, you have to do some place here and there. Okay, and now the parallax has to go inside and this one has to catch. Okay, now, in place, here are the screws. Four screws. Mm -hmm. As usual, no, I'm not sitting down, so I'm standing up and everything is a mess. Okay, let's sit down and do it comfortable. Still, comfortable is not a word today. Oh my god. I'm clumsy today. Okay, I think I'm going to edit all these parts that I demonstrate that I'm not good. Just putting screws inside. Okay, now we have the plate put here. Remove this one because I'm going to put the plate on. There are no spacers here in this side. No need. Wait a second.
Yeah, I confused. Let's cross. Good. Got you. This screws uh, for the side. Okay, now the plate is inside. Okay, now the screws to be set are these ones. Okay. We'll continue with this several days later. Okay, so this plate is already here. The light trap is in position. So the next thing I already forgot what it should be. I think it's to put this one and here for checking the correct collimation. And now the telephone rings. Okay, continue. So I think the first thing now is to put this here, so this place, okay, in order to check the collimation this lens if it's correctly set at infinity. So a couple of things here need to. Uh -huh. The parallax is this small, it has to be in the outside part, otherwise I cannot go down. Mm -hmm. And now we have to put the spacers here. Mm -hmm. I don't see any other seam. There are a couple of them. One is thinner than the other. So one, the one in the middle goes and just screw it slightly. And then I go for the others. Has to be well positioned. These ones they have spacers here for a correct grip with the plate. Da, 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 da. Okay, uh, uh, <laughs> and now for the other side, same thing. There is only one position that it goes. This hole has to match this one. Okay. I mean, you don't put anything over there, but later. Another screw should be able to pass through. Once the plate is set, it's time for the first checking of how, how is the movement up and down going. If there, are, if there is need of 
setting up again the cam here for the backwards movement. And uh, okay, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's time for tighten them. And time for checking this. Yeah, movement is good. So five remains this way. Maybe when we add this one on the top, you may need a little adjustment, but usually if this is fine, the rest is fine. Okay, now it's time for connecting this arm to the other for cocking. It's quite tricky. I know if it here yeah okay that has to connect over there normally it is better when you move this one a bit obviously this is not the, is not the best position for me for checking out that every doing again the phone Okay, again, yeah, it fits. Okay, let's see if you go. Okay, now, now it's time for putting this small screw there. And usually this thing is quite complicated. And I use this long screw. Mm -hmm. Do it. I don't know if you can see something on the camera because I'm worried that I can see it myself. Yeah, I went out. Didn't get a screw. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cannot look at the camera. Yeah, without recording, it is much, much easier. Now, maybe this one is already moving. Uh huh. So this is the first connection you need to. So again, explaining how the winding cocks the solder. This is small plate. It has here this lever that you put into this one, and the movement you do is this one. You rotate. So that rotation. Imagine that you have this fixed position here will make this going, this movement. So it's gonna move this lever up and down. And this way, you are already cocking this other. It's already cocked. Mm -hmm. Next. You can release it. By releasing it, you're moving this down. I mean, when, when you're pressing this, the button, I mean, the release button, if that lever cannot go through the middle, you don't release it. That's why here in the back part of this plate, there is this one. Here, it will press, it will, go, it will take it down, let's see. 
Du, du, du. Now, go down. That press this one. If the crank it is not straight in this position, nothing will happen and you won't be able to release. That's why in the rolling flex you can only release the, the saddle when the crank is in this position here. Okay? Can be that way or can be already flexed this way. Because only in that position you will be able to press fully the release button. Okay, this is one part I wanted to show. So what is going to be next? Cooking is working. Mm -hmm. I will grease this part because this part needs to be greased so the uh, friction will be less. Everything is fine here. I should nice is to put the parallax here, but first, before anything else, I should put the front lens and check if the infinity position it is correctly at the film plane. Okay, so I will do a few more things of the record and I will come back to you. Next to the counter, but it's gonna go here. Okay, so this there is a gap here. The film goes between these two rollers. Let's see if we can see the second roller. Okay, this way. Okay, at the moment when you load the camera, they are very close to each other. Okay, so the film paper, the, just the paper goes through it so in the middle. In this, but when the film starts passing, it creates a bigger gap, and that bigger gap is gonna activate all the counting system to start. That's why um, this is the name of the camera of the first version, Automat, because automatically detects the film. Okay.
Okay, let's see how it goes with the movement, where it goes, and why, and everything, how everything is connected here in the, in the winding part. Um, attention to this inside this metal. Okay, let me take it out. This one. Okay, you see that bar with. Okay. It's gonna detect the film and it's gonna be moved by the film. Okay. And that movement will go to this one. Okay, keep that in mind. Now, usually. Film loading through the middle to take up a spool. Mm -hmm. And I have to keep pressing this one. Okay. You see now that this one is moving. Okay, now it's time for closing the door. Not very flat, should be more tightened, but for this is enough. Okay, camera. Now, since there is no film, it's just winding normally. And this one will move up and all of them down. And then you see a gap now, this will engage the counter. I don't know when it's going to be, soon. Over there. Now this is engaging. Moving the film. What will happen, now I have free winding here, with the number one is going to be here, the tap underneath, will allow this one to move and this will fall stopping here the winding okay also will fall it will move this one up and this also will close the winding okay number one is about to reach okay now we did. Okay, this is not allowing us to wind anymore. We cannot go backwards, so the camera is in is waiting for being released as error. Okay. Mm -hmm. What happened here? With this movement, the winding is unleashed, and this is gonna held that in that position. This is up already up because of how the counter is working. So I can continue winding for the number two. Uh -huh. The tap engaged, goes down this one, pushing this up, and the lock of the winding is already here. I cannot do any more, I can only go backwards until the resting position, and so on, until you get 12 frames. If I want to do a double exposure now I should move this one slightly in this direction that is the arrow showing Skip. okay now you see that one I can go backwards because it releases the lock so I can cock again the shutter stop in the resting position shooting position and again Go for the next. Okay, another one. Just gonna see. As soon 
as this is moving down, goes up, I block the winding already for going ahead, only backwards is possible. That's it. And Okay, before, before I had to do something here, this spring goes through this one, through this, and got broken, I mean loose, so it was not pushing this one in that, in that way, so it was not engaging the self-timer, when the self-timer was working, it was not engaging this tab, but this tab here, what it's doing, it is to release the shutter. Now, it should do it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this way better. Yeah, when you use self-timer, self it is harder to cock the shutter because you have to push this one backwards. This spring is doing that. That press, that force against you. Okay, now I'm going to finish again, mounting this part, mounting the cover already, collimating the lens, again the beam lens. Okay, see you in a while. Okay, let's gonna close this now and check if <clears throat> the counting is working fine. <laughs> the same sign position. Okay, I close this. The pin for the double exposure goes here. Things that is uh, too small. That small pin fits in this tab. What is gonna make the crown go backwards? So you can copy the shutter and this way taking another photo on the same frame.
one more time how to load the Rolleiflex that has film detection. It has to go through these two bars here. Now, above, insert the leader into the take up spool and start. Now you can close any time because it should detect the film. Mm -hmm. At some point you will feel resistance. And now engage the counter. Okay. One thing to check is always the double special mechanism like this one. So you are able to do multiple photos on the same frame. Okay, going backwards again, I mean forward. Movement seems fine. Stops with just one click. Mm -hmm. So far, it's doing everything as it should. Counter will go to zero again when you close the door. And basically, you are pressing this tab here. Okay. Everything seems really fine. Really good. Okay, what I'm missing here? I think nothing else. So I can close already this one and this one. Okay, winding and counting is working fine. Shutter is working fine. Main lens, lens is adjusted at infinity. Okay. So, what is missing? Mounted the front. Sides, mirror, the screen. Mm -hmm. I think I can close this one already. If you ever do this, don't be surprised that you open one side, another panel, another panel, really multiple times. Because you may forget something that's normal. Maybe you didn't install that piece correctly. That's fine. Open it, install it again. No problem. As long as Nothing has been vented to block it. Everything is good. Okay, I will do this later. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, time for the mirror and the. I'm going to start a new screen. Yay. Okay, I will come, I will put here the new mirror and the screen. Okay. The original screen is still fine. I mean, it has some spots, but it can be worked. I mean, it can, it can do the job. But I want to start a new one. So, the camera has one spring here. What it does is to push the mirror up as maximum as it can, so it doesn't bubble here. 
on the bottom. So I ordered the mirror to Martin Silic in the States. They are always super nice. He does always a very, very good job. Martin. So one clean it, you see these blue traces over there. This has been cleaned. And I started to lose silver somewhere. Okay, now I have to fit. Oh yeah, I forgot the spring. The spring goes here. So also the mirror sits down and yeah, you can feel the spring here pushing up. I know this lock is sideways. Yeah, always a pain basically. It's always more difficult. If you leave some traces with your fingers here in the upper part, nothing is going to happen. Okay, mirror is installed, installed and secured. Mm -hmm. Fine, fine, fine. Now the screen, change the screen, this is the original screen. But there's some quadrants on it. Okay, uh, these screens are super good, good for focusing, but it darkens in the in the corners. I start here. I cut it RB69 screen. My opinion are the best screens you can put on these raw reflexes. You need to cut them with this thing and very carefully. Okay, so uh, nothing else here. Do, 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 do. Okay, locked. These old reflexes, I mean that model 3A, 3B, they have a disposition that you may drop a fresnel, a fresnel lens over this one. Okay, I mean, this is installed in the in the finder, but you can drop one fresnel here because if you push this, you will realize that it catches on the corners. So you can install something different to allow better brightness to have more brightness on the screen. Now you can put a new one. You can take one from China, but the freshness for China they are quite crude and 
and they are not very good for focusing because at the end you will see the fresnel the lines of the of the fresnel and quite distracting and for achieving the focus sometimes it might be really difficult but with the LB69 screens they are made by Mamiya and they are really really nice okay now you, you cannot see because it has here the light but no dark corners okay now we have installed the new mirror new screen this time for checking this lens okay this lens has this ring here you unscrew it and then you have access to I mean then you can start rotating up and down and get infinity focus obviously you have to do it with a lens with the camera at infinity so this is already fine at infinity you put the lens on infinity the camera at infinity and then you start moving this one screwing or unscrewing it to achieve infinity with it oh my god i'm so clumsy today Okay. okay, this spanner is really good. It has three kind of ends and you can put them outwards or inwards. So Ah, it was already loose. Good. Now, I should go outside with weather. It's perfect for focusing the lens at infinity, the viewing lens. Okay, lens has been set to infinity. The screen is mirror. It's, it's amazing, really. I love this screen. Bo, 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 bo. What is else needed? Okay. Nothing more here. 35B. Three, 35 three, and B. Okay, this should be this is for the sink. Okay, it seems we had here, if I'm not wrong, two spacers. One was on the upper side both were here in the other side this usually it is just for keeping straight lines with this one in parallel to everything okay da, 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 da. okay we have here we are do, 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 do. It's fine. I'm just going to check it out. Okay. Good. Just gonna change speed and aperture. Okay, change to one second F twenty two. Super. 
So, aperture on the speed was already connected correctly to the knobs. Important this moment. You don't do anything else. You just breathe and starting to put the screws into position. So you don't lose the synchro of these two knobs. Okay, this was the first model of the 3B, meaning that moving this, move aperture, and aperture can be moved by itself. Here's the EV value changing. Okay. So you have to live with it. It can be, it can be, I mean, the link can be disengaged. I found a way to do it with, I mean, being able to, to another technician to reverse it, but I will leave this camera as it is because honestly, there is not much issue. Okay, I can put this one. I usually glue the skin when the camera is completely finished after the test roll and everything. Okay, this is all the model. So have to use this one. Okay, now comes the fight with the flash. I never find a way, a good way of connecting the flash. It's always struggling. Okay, not bad. Final. I don't have a wrench still for this opening. I have for the other ones, but not for this. <coughs> well. Everything finished, still the skin has to be glued after the test roll, okay, only when I finished. What else in this one, anything I did, yeah I had to add one small spacer in this screw because the camera, I mean the focusing was not even when starting, so it was a bit disbalanced, this side with the rest. Okay, new screen, camera passed through everything, as you saw. I hope it will do fine. Um, now talking with, with a friend, he mentioned me something interesting, just gonna check it out. Okay, we look here, this is a synchro compute, the second version, okay, I mean, I mean it has a, a the self timer is outside, but still, um, you can select 500 right now without any problem. I mean, with a with a shutter code, and the thing is that aperture has still ten blades. Shortly after the 3B, they started to use already five shutter blades for the aperture. This has ten. That's out of curiosity. Okay. Um, 
have seen modern Rolleiflexes with planner and senator that they took this kind of aperture and installed it in the others. So you can have more fancy bouquet if you believe that such thing exists. Anyway, if everything is going to be fine, I will keep this one for myself. Hopefully, not selling after a few months as usual. Okay, uh, thank you for watching. I hope everything is clear how the Rolex Flex cameras are working. If you have any question, please just write down in comments. Or if you want to see another aspect, aspect of the inside of the camera, okay, just let me know. Thank you for watching all this long, and I hope. It will be understood. Okay, <laughs> goodbye.